All right, let's see how we can enable uh, a different language input in Docs. Now, if you see in my Docs here, I don't have any language tools available. So what I need to do is click up into my Google account and click on Manage my Google account, which will take me across to this. Here, so here is my account. Uh, what I want to do is I want to go to uh, my personal information, which will open up this tab here. Now on our personal info, we can see there is general preferences for the web. So my languages, I can choose some different languages. You can see I've got English United Kingdom, I've got Pirate, and I've got Klingon, because why not? Now below that is this tab here that says Input Tools. There's also the accessibility behind down here, uh, but I'll look at that in a different video. So input tools here, we click on input tools. We can then go add a language. And if we then go uh, Te Reo Māori, click that, go select. We now have the ability to add a keyboard and also handwriting Te Reo Māori, which will allow us to add macrons to uh, any typing we do. So that's uh, how we get to the Te Reo Māori input. I'll go back there and make sure that's all saved. So there we go. We have all the information there. Let's go back to my document. So here is my document here. Now, if I then refresh this one, it will hopefully pick up that information for us. So when we have a look around here, you can see that on my doc, there is now this so my input tools has been switched on. If I drop that down and I do the Māori keyboard, it will pop up an on-screen keyboard for me. Now, if I want to type a macron, if I go in dash a, let's see, it will now turn into a macron on top of the A there. So it's simply by typing this little key here in the top left of my keyboard. So if I wanted to go Waka with a long A, I do it like that. So that will work on all of our um, our Māori words we want to have a macron on top of. So into your Google account up here, into our personal info, into the input tools in the language, switch on the input tools, tick those two, and it will then put it up the top here, and we can choose either the handwriting style or the keyboard style. So hopefully that will uh, help you use macrons across docs, slides, um, sheets, and into your Gmail as well. You'll see the same little keyboard sitting up there in Gmail. So hopefully that helps. Um, that's how you're gonna find macrons in docs.